Hey guys, it's Terry. Just um, wanted to uh, show off a little um, circuit that uh, I've been using since I was a little kid. Um, it's uh, it's called the uh, Free Running Multi Vibrator. That title makes 13 year olds laugh. Man, me and my friends used to laugh at that thing all the time. We had so much fun building the circuit though. So um, I guess I must have been about 12, maybe. And most of my friends at the time were, were 16. You know, they're, they're usually three or four years older than me. And uh, they all started to drive. And uh, something we would do is we would build these circuits and uh, hook them up uh, to the brake light circuits on their cars. And so uh, what it does is uh, it has a pair of LEDs that blink back and forth. I mean, it's not a very complex circuit or anything, uh, but it's one that Forrest Mims uh, put in his uh, Getting Started with Electronics book. Uh, you're probably familiar with uh, Forrest Mims III's uh, Mini Engineer's Notebooks. Um, these are cool, cool notebooks. Um, something uh, you'll probably want to uh, uh, check out with these is... Um, it has uh, these nice hand-drawn drawings, of, you know, inside of them, and uh, that's the way. Pretty much all 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 of his little uh, engineers' notebooks are done, and they're cool. They're fun. Um, it's good stuff. Um, with uh, with getting this thing set up, I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like. Man, hopefully my the lag on this isn't too bad, and if it is, I apologize. Um, let's see if I can bring this down to a smaller screen. Hopefully, uh, I'm not completely killing the computer here by doing all the things that I've got rigged up. Um, go ahead and turn on the overhead here, and you can see the circuit. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, let me show you the schematic for this thing. Um, So it's got two uh, PNP transistors, uh, a couple of caps, uh, four resistors, and two LEDs. And uh, so I've got this thing rigged up here. You reach over here, turn it on. There it is, red and green back and forth. I went ahead and went with the red and green because uh, back in the day, that's what we, uh, that's what, that's the two colors we had. It was either a red, a green, or you could get the amber LEDs because it would turn red and green on at the same time, and it would be in one enclosure. Uh, so that's what it was like back in the back in the eighties. Uh, let's see here. Oh man, I'm sitting here looking. Uh, with the circuit, I'll bring up the. Uh, the oscilloscope with this and uh, you can see the alternating um, LEDs right here I'm, I'm sitting there uh, monitoring the uh, base of these uh, transistors and um, it's sitting there uh, basically you can see one turn on the other turn on and uh, by the, the voltage levels that we've got represented there I don't know if I can make that look any better or not for you guys, uh, but that uh, that's what we've got. <laughs> not doing any better by doing that. But uh, yeah, um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I will sit here and change this guy while we are our own here and maybe that will help out so you guys can see it there all right so yeah this is the the free running multi vibrator uh, circuit from uh, force Mims. Uh, super cool circuit fun to put together 
Um, there's only a few things that you need um, to make it work. Uh, you need resistors, transistors, capacitors, and most importantly, light emitting diodes, LEDs. So um, you can usually, if you have any kind of junk box, you can probably get all of the things needed to do this out of your junk box. Um, I don't have a, a link or anything that I can put below um, to the schematic, um, but I will see if I can find uh, the getting started with uh, basic electronics and put that link in there. I'm sure Radio Shack probably still carries it. You can get it online. I bet Amazon's got it. Um, but uh, Force Mims uh, is a, a cool guy. Man, he, he does so much fun stuff with uh, uh, citizen science and um, does a lot of instrumentation and stuff like that. Uh, for a long time, um, I believe there was a uh, infrared um, instrument that uh, he would uh, have to go out and calibrate um, on top of uh, the volcano in Hawaii. That is kind of cool. Uh, interesting guy, fun to follow on Facebook, so uh, I would suggest you guys following him um, if, you, uh, if you get the opportunity. Um, he was uh, one of the guys that was an expert reviewer for the uh, IPC, was it IPCC uh, panel for um, uh, climate change um, for, um, and I'm having, I'm having a blank right now. Uh, I guess it's the UN. <laughs> um, and uh, he has some interesting comments about uh, the, the science uh, associated with that type of stuff. Um, he is somewhat controversial um, uh, from the standpoint that um, uh, he is an unapologetic creationist. I guess you would call him that, you know, traditionalist uh, in that sense, and backs it all up with science. Uh, not like that crazy dude up in Kentucky. I mean, he actually has some, some interesting arguments. Um, the idea of us and everything being engineered. Um, I don't know that I necessarily agree with uh, his perspective on it, um, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good read. Uh, he's certainly uh, 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 one of the more uh, intelligent people that uh, I've ever seen put forth you know, good arguments. Um, uh, about that type of thing. Anyway, um, trying to think here. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Uh, something we used to do with these things is, um, as you can see with the way this thing is uh, flashing, um, you know, it's going kind of kind of slow. Um, what we would typically do is change out the capacitor values in here and put something like a uh, what do I have here typically like a 2.2 what is this guy it's a 10 that's eh, only make it go twice as fast let's see if we make it go like four times as fast or something I have no idea if any of this will work it's live now, if all of this stuff goes away, it's because it, I made a big mistake and blew stuff up, and I'm not going to keep that around. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, this this is a good one. 4.7 microfarad. That ought to flash pretty fast. So, uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, negative goes to the base. So there is our collector, and there's our base. And we'll do the same on this other side. Got to stretch that out a little bit further for this one. By the way, I've already blown up a couple of LEDs tonight playing around with this. Man, I just remember LEDs being a lot more resilient as a kid. Um, Man, I, I've already burned up two this evening. One of them I didn't even try. One of them I did just to see what would happen. <laughs> All right, let's flip this thing on and see what happens. Yeah, a lot faster. Much, much faster. That, that's more like it right there. <laughs> that's, um, 
that, that's typically what we do. Let me, let me swap it over here so you guys can see the, uh, see what that looks like on the scope. <laughs> So yeah, super fun right there. And uh, yeah, so uh, that right there is what we would have rigged up uh, on um, little uh, pieces of cardboard that would be paint, painted a color or something, have it rigged up on the, in, in the back window. Um, and something I always wanted to, I, I attempted, never was able to do, was um, take and uh, see if I could make them, get three of them uh, to go, and uh, it does not work like that. Uh, it will not, uh, it will not go. Uh, but it's a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of fun putting these little circuits together. Uh, this one, uh, you know, obviously is just super fun uh, because it's flashy lights. I mean, that, that's sort of my thing is flashy lights. I love playing with. Uh, flashy lights and uh, this one definitely gives you uh, a good bang for the buck but uh, yeah so this is a circuit from my childhood uh, I'll put some more links down below or something and uh, put some stuff out there uh, uh, linking out to uh, Forest Mims I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, it's been a while since I've done a uh, um, uh, done a video Kind of tired tonight. It's been about an hour trying to troubleshoot this thing because I'm old now and um, completely forgot to put the resistors that pull down the the uh, uh, base on the transistors. Uh, you know, I'm sitting there looking. At, here I am, you know, uh, with all this ridiculous equipment that I never had as a kid, trying to troubleshoot this thing. <laughs> Uh, it's just funny to sit there and, you know, you hey, here's an oscilloscope. Let's figure out what's going on. <laughs> and then I, I look back at the schematic and I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I kind of screwed that up. Well, anyways, uh, thanks, guys, and uh, we'll see you later. Y'all have a good evening. Bye.